Are you thinking of spending money on Genesis crystals? If yes, then I recommend watching this because it might just save you a bunch of money. There's this website called Loot Bar GG, where you can save up to 20% compared to in-game purchases. Since Loot Bar uses the official partnership route, you can enjoy all the official Hoyaverse recharge events, meaning you can get twice the amount of Genesis crystals if you have the bonus. This is how I purchased 6,560 Genesis crystals for only $47. Huh? All I had to do was provide my UAD and make the payment, and one to two minutes later, I received the crystals on my account. No hassle. It's completely safe and secure, and has thousands of good reviews on their website. Even big shots like Dukaja, Tevat Times, and Jello Impact approve of Loot Bar, so head over to the link in the description and start saving money. New users get 5% off their first purchase. Hey everyone! In this video, we'll talk about the 5.2 banners and the four star predictions. Also, we are giving away five Welkins when we reach 15,000 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Let's dive into it. The confirmed characters for 5.2 are currently Chaska and Ororon. However, the current leaks suggests that phase one will consist of Linny and Chaska, while phase two will be Nuvalet and Zhongli. This information is coming from Full Stop Chan, who is a reliable source known for consistent, accurate predictions on banners. They have had 10 successful banner predictions in a row, so it's very likely that these banners will turn out to be true as well. As for why Hoyo decided to rerun Linny alongside Chaska, that's questionable. I think it's evident that Hoyo's expecting most players to put their focus on Chaska rather than Linny. It might be a strategy from their side, as they know that Chaska's interesting and unique kit is anticipated to get a lot of interest from the players, and therefore more people will choose to pull for her, so it makes sense to pair her with Linny. Moving on to Phase 2, we have Nouvellet and Zhongli, both of whom are fan favorites. Nouvellet is one of the strongest DPS characters in the game, and Zhongli is a highly wanted character, especially for his shield. It's kind of devious to put big shots like Nouvellet and Zhongli on the banners right before Mavuika's release. Then again, it's probably a strategy from their end to make players spend all their primos before Movika's debut in 5.3. Overall, this lineup seems like a win-win for Hoyo, with Chaska's new mechanics driving interest in Phase 1, and popular characters like Zhongli and Nouvellet coming in Phase 2, effectively maintaining player engagement throughout version 5.02. Now, let's go over the four-star character predictions Make sure to join our Discord server to take part in frequent giveaways, get instant leaks and updates, and hang out with other Genshin players, including me. Link is in the description. It's rare to get solid information on four stars this early, but we have reliable hints from HomDG Cat, who has recently been accurate with predictions. According to them, we can expect Ororon, Heizu, Yao Yao, and Fischl as likely four star characters on the 5.2 banner. Let's start with Phase 1. Ororon and Fischl are the most likely candidates here. With Chaska expected to play as a main DPS, Fischl's abilities would be boosting reaction potential for high damage output. Ororon, a fresh addition with a unique Electro Kit, would also pair well with Chaska, adding versatility and bringing some fun new interactions. Then there is Phase 2. For this phase, Yao Yao and Heizu seem like solid choices. Since each phase typically features three four-stars, there are still two spots left to fill. First, Mika is a strong possibility, as he was last seen in version 3.8. Although he's not the most popular character, it seems like time for his rerun. Then there's Charlotte, who debuted in version 4.2, but hasn't had her first rerun yet, making her another likely option to appear. A suggestion for anyone thinking of pulling in 5.2, this banner comes right before Mavuika's release. Characters like Mavuika are incredibly valuable, so if you're aiming to go all in on her, it might be worth considering before spending too many primos in 5.2. If you are thinking of spending, make sure to use the link in the pinned comment to save a ton of money. Who are you planning to pull for next? Let me know in the comments. That's all, thanks for watching and subscribe, or you'll lose your 50-50 to Chi-Chi.